so intercooler piping is all done. The next thing we're going to work on is uh, the radiator fan shroud. So I've got the radiator pulled out. I've got my sheet of aluminum and I've got some cardstock for the template. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out uh, basically how big I want the shroud to be. So I'm not going all the way to the edge of the radiator. Uh, I'm going to sit it a little bit in and I'd say 26. 26 inches by, I'm going to measure, I want to clear the uh, inlet and outlet so I think 15 looks good. Yeah. So we're going to do 26 by 15. Okay, so we figured out that the fan has a depth of two and a half inches and basically from behind the radiator to the front of the engine we only have three inches. Um, so basically the edge of the fan shroud at most can be half an inch. Um, so we're going to make it a little bit smaller than that just to be safe. So let's put this aside for now and we'll work on the template. So I've got the template all drawn out. Uh, basically there's three eighths of an inch uh, border going around all of it because that's what I'm gonna fold over. And now it's just a matter of figuring out where we wanna place the fans. So I'm gonna try and get it kinda centered up and we'll pick it back up after that. Okay, so I've got the fans pretty much positioned where I want them. Um, all I did was the fan shroud, so past the borders from here to here is supposed to be 26, so I just found the center line of that. And then the height of it is supposed to be 15, so I just found the center line of that, lined up the fans. And it looks pretty good. There's about an inch gap in between uh, from the edge and then in the center and then on the other edge. So I've traced the fans out. Um, 
So now it's just a matter of, well, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna bend the corners and just get a, see if it, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I've taken the template and I've bent the edges over uh, just as like a little mock-up. Um, and this is basically how it should sit. Okay, so this, uh, this seems like it's gonna work pretty good. All we have to do is transfer all of this onto the aluminum sheet. So we originally started with a sheet of aluminum that was 27 and an eighth by by 17 and something. So we had to cut off uh, we had to cut off a section this way. Actually, it's off this edge. Um, and instead of cutting the one eighth or whatever off this edge, we decided oh the three the three eighths off this edge. I decided that I would rather not cut it and I'll just compensate for the extra material. So I found the center line of the shroud and this is basically a one inch gap spacing on the sides and in the middle because I wanted a one inch gap between the fans uh, and the edge of the shroud. Okay, so this line here is just the center line um, for the height. And I drew this line so that I can just line up, it'd be easier to line up uh, with, this, with this line on the fan. Okay, so yeah, that's roughly how this is gonna be. All I'm going to do is cut the circle out for the fans, which these are 11 inch fans, but you're obviously not going to cut 11 inches. Um, I would cut well, this is an 11 inch fan, but the actual outer edge is Uh, about 12 and a quarter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut 12. I'm gonna cut a circle that's got a 12 inch diameter. So this is basically going to be the center of the fan, or the hole. I'm going to put these on here and just trace it out for the heck of it. Ok, 
Okay, so we've got pretty much everything marked out on this sheet. Um, what I want to do next is cut the circle, um, the openings for the fans. So that's where. So that's where these come in. Now, if you guys saw the Porter Band video, uh, you saw that I also ordered these plasma circle. Uh, cutter attachments So let's open these up and see How exactly they work? Okay so I bought the small and the large and let's see, you can see it's etched on here one inch, half an inch, three quarter and one and a quarter. Basically how this works is the gap in between each of the large holes um, is one inch. So if I thread the thumb screw into the one inch small hole and say I take the plasma cutter and I insert it into one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I insert it into this hole here, that should technically give me a six inch radius. Um, so if we're in the six hole with the plasma cutter and we start cutting, it's going to cut basically a 12 inch circle. Uh, but I don't want 12 inches because the fan is only 11 and the actual shroud itself is probably 12 inches. So what I'm going to do is switch the thumb screw over to the half inch mark and now if I go one two three four five so now if I go to the six hole we're only at five and a half inch a five and a half inch radius which means when I cut this circle out, it should give us an 11 inch uh, diameter circle. So let me get the plasma set up and we'll try and cut this out. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna find the center. Just gonna punch it. Same thing here, find the center, center pocket, and then the little tip on here is going to sit in that. And uh, Swag actually tells you that these holes that they've made are purposely made undersized so that you can drill the holes to whatever size tip you're using on your plasma cutter. So I'm only using this hole right now, so I only wanted to drill that one. I didn't drill the rest of them. So let's give this a try. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we've got everything set up now. Uh, I actually had to move the center over because I was off due to some bad math. So now we've got the proper center point and we'll be able to cut the circle out. So let me turn on the plasma cutter and we'll give this a shot.
Okay, so as you can see, that worked out pretty well. Uh, is my first time. I'm still pretty new to using the plasma, so wherever I kind of got hung up on is where the cut wasn't clean. But wherever was, you know, wherever I was moving at a decent pace, uh, it actually turned out really well. So now the only thing left is to probably cut out these corners and then we'll start bending the edges over. Okay, so we got the circles all cut out and we actually got the edges folded over. Um, the metal brake didn't work as well as I had hoped. Uh, it needs a few revisions, but I was able to bend it um, just with like, just with the edge of the table. So I'm gonna end up welding the corners just so that they stay together and we trimmed these edges so I've trimmed the edges just so that it recesses into into the section on the rad so I'm going to show you now Over here, this is where I trimmed it so that it can actually sit up uh, flush against the radiator. So the next thing we're gonna do is, I guess, drill out the holes for the fans themselves so that we can mount them. And then we'll weld up the corners and we'll do another test fit and make some tabs so that we can mount it to the radiator. Okay, so we cut these little tabs out because we're gonna make um, basically just mounting tabs for the shroud to mount to the radiator. These two are gonna be for the bottom. This one is for uh, the top right and this one's for the top left. So we're gonna put some bends in it and I think this time, because they're so small, the metal brake uh, should be able to bend these pretty easily.
Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, the only thing left to do is run some nut and bolts through the bottom of here to hold it down, and then I might actually get some uh, like rubber door seal or like a foam door seal and just run it along the edges just for that extra uh, sealing. As you can see, like there's there's not a lot of gap in between it, so even without uh, the seal, I think it should it should work pretty good. Uh, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test fit it in the car and see if this is slim enough to clear the uh, the front of the 2J. got the radiator in and the fan shroud is all bolted onto it and that's basically that's how much clearance we have so I would say overall pretty happy with how the shroud turned out um, the clearance is Good. I mean, as good as it can be with a with a Jay Z swap in a 240, and that's pretty much it for uh, for the cooling part. The only thing left to do is wire up the fans, uh, which I'm just waiting for connectors, and then we'll get those wired up. <laughs> 